Uh, today we uh, talk about titanium and titanium coatings and all about this I'll show you now. So first I want to start with the titanium material um, which is mostly used in um, performance engines in the upper class engines because it's very expensive. The titanium is uh, much more lighter of course and with same strength as uh, stainless steel material or st um, another, um, how do you want to say, like a steel, like a performance steel but it's much much lighter. And so this is a very good point of the titanium and I have uh, two titanium rods here. One is from the Formula 1 engine. I will put it on a weight so we can compare the weights. This is for example um, 226 gram without bolts and then this is a GT1 rod from the Toyota GT1 340 gram. By the way, we can, maybe we can show just a picture of the GT1 car because it's a very nice car, so you, you know what, what I'm talking about. And now we compare our steel rods. So it's nearly the double, yeah, if you compare. So we, we, uh, we can gain half of, a, of the weight if we go to, for titanium. We don't sell titanium rods because basically they are just too expensive, but um, I just want to explain you this about the material. What is also important is on titanium, that titanium, if you have titanium touching each other, the friction is very bad. So this is why the rods are coated on this uh, surface here. So you can see the, the coating here. It's a little bit of like gray sprayed also here on the Formula 1 rod because these are V engines, so you have rod on rod and they will, they will touch each other. So this is why this area on both sides is coated. So the next titanium sink which I want to show to you, ah, this one also here. For example, the valve spring, the upper retainer is made of steel. You can also check with a magnet, so it's not magnetic. Titanium is not magnetic, steel is magnetic. Also here, this is not magnetic. So if I put this on a weight, we have nearly 7 gram. And if I compare to the titanium, we gain half of a weight. So it's, um, this is very important for, for the valve train because these are the masses which are moving, so we want to have them as low as possible with same uh, configuration or the same strength as normal steel. So the next thing uh, is the titanium coating, titanium nitrated coating, I think it's called like this in English. Maybe you know this from the, from the drills. Uh, if you have these drills which are golden, they, call, they are called titanium coated or titanium drills because the surface is very hard. It's like ceramic, yeah, ceramic coating, similar to the one which is on the JE pistons, on what, uh, what they are doing on the piston. Yeah. So it's, uh, this is also ceramic coating. I'm not quite sure if it's really the same as titanium. Uh, there's titanium nitrated coating. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe you know more. Uh, if you know, please write in a comment and like and subscribe. Don't forget. <laughs> this time we don't go to the dyno, by the way. Yeah? So, um, so the drill is coated with this titanium nitrated material because it's very hard and it's very um, good for heat. Yeah? And so we decided also to make something on the rods. Yeah? And uh, now look at this. It's very, very nice. I like it very much. I know we, we don't see it when it's installed in the engine, but it's the same with the piston. You also don't see it, but you know that you have it in. So I like this. And also we want to make something new. And uh, the rod also is now, because the steel is corrosive, so it will corrode very quick. Uh, this is, for example, on the on the rally car, on the uh, VRC car engines. We also put some oil on the on the rod everywhere before we installed it. So when you clean the rods, and they are completely dry, be careful. For example, not to touch with your finger, because on your fingers you have also salt in the in, in your finger, and this will start to corrode. Yeah. It's not super critical, but uh, it's better to avoid that. Um, Last but not least, of course, this coating will make the rod stronger. It's like, uh, like, a, like a turtle, I don't know, the panzer, I don't know the, the English word, but you have ar around something which is making it much stronger. 
And uh, last but not least, we also have the titanium destillat, we call it. Yeah. It's in a special glass bottle. With, uh, it's, not, it's a bit harmful, so don't, don't uh, try to drink it. And I will put it on the, on the plate so you can see how it looks like. Yeah. It looks like a bit uh, when you go to the sushi bar, you know, when you put some sushi. But, yeah. And um, this fluid, is, uh, I use it very often. You can put it there or you can put it on each kind of material which you think uh, you want uh, to um, protect against uh, rusting because it's fluid now and then the day after it's not fluid anymore. It's like a, like a film. So it's sticking a little bit uh, and it will stay there. It's not the same as you, if you put uh, WD-40, for example. This will stay longer. And I like to use this because we love engines and maybe if you love your engine too, I like to put it on some, some uh, surface, for example here, so we don't, um, it will not start to rust anymore. You can protect your block on this, all the surfaces which are later not protected. Or here you have the, uh, the engine code. Normally uh, Volkswagen or Audi, they, they put some uh, silicone there just to protect this area. But I like this material much more. Oh, here you have also the engine code. Yeah, so better protect it like this. Otherwise it will start to rust. And it doesn't look very nice. So I hope I could explain to you a bit more about titanium. If you have any questions, write in the comments. And I hope you like our videos and see you next time.